I love this next story so much. It is bound to put a smile on all of our faces because loudmouth Christian nationalist imbecile and member of Congress Marjorie Taylor Greene finally got a taste of her own medicine when a taxpayer accosted her in a public space. And she didn't like the way that this feels now that she's on the other side of some angry person approaching you in public. She tweeted out, I was attacked in a restaurant by an insane woman and screamed at by her adult son. They had no respect for the restaurant or the staff or the other people dining or people like me who simply have different political views. They are self-righteous, insane, and completely out of control. I was sitting at my table working with my staff and never even noticed these people until they turned into demons. People used to respect others, even if they had different views but not anymore our country is gone <laughs> <laughs> the irony here is overwhelming because all the things that she denounced here well she is guilty of that before she was a member of congress she did the same exact thing multiple times and an individual who pointed this out made a very very good point david hogg so he writes via twitter hate when that happens. I was attacked and screamed at in 2018 by an insane woman named Marjorie Taylor Greene. She had no respect for the privacy of me as an 18-year-old school shooting survivor or my staff. She was self-righteous, insane, and completely out of control. Now, I think it's pretty obvious what he's referring to, but if you haven't seen the video, she did exactly what she complained about to David Hogg. The difference here is that David Hogg was not a member of Congress when she accosted him in public. She is a member of Congress. She is a public servant. Regardless, this is what she did when she went up to him and decided to confront him, somebody with no power whatsoever, but let's watch. David, why are you supporting the red flag laws? If there had been, if Scott Peterson, the resource officer at Parkland had done his job, then Nicholas Cruz wouldn't have killed anybody in your high school or at least protected them. Why are you supporting red flag gun laws that attack our Second Amendment rights? And why are you using kids to get to, as a barrier? Do you not know how to defend your stance? Look, I'm an American citizen. I'm a gun owner. I have a concealed carry permit. I carry a gun with, for, for protection for myself. And you are using your lobby and the money behind it and the kids to try to take away my Second Amendment rights. You don't have any with guns, there would be no mass shootings at schools. Do you know that? The best way to stop a bad guy with a gun is with a good guy with a gun. But yet you're attacking our Second Amendment. And you have nothing to say. No words. So I'm walking. He's got nothing to say. Sad. He has nothing to say because there really isn't anything to say, you guys. He has nothing to say because he's paid to do this. He has the walk away march. He's got the um, he's got the women's march, and they're funding all of this. Every town gun USA, they're funding all this stuff. Okay, that was David Hogue right there. David, we saw him inside the Senate building. He had 30, 30 um, appointments where he ran around and got to talk to senators. I got to talk to none, none. He had media coverage all over the place. I had zero. Guess what? I'm a gun owner. I'm an American citizen. And I have nothing but this guy with his George Soros funding and his major liberal funding has got everything. I want you to think about that. That's where we are. And he's a coward. He can't say one word because he can't defend his stance. So you'd like now she's the one who can't defend her stance against this mother and son. And again, I want to emphasize here that these are two very different things, right? David Hogg is a private citizen. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a member of Congress. Members of Congress serve at the pleasure of the American people, right? We are the ones who pay for their checks. So I think that we have a right, if we want to, confront them in public. 
It doesn't matter if you disagree with them. I would hold uh, consistent on this particular stance. If a Republican were to do it, I wouldn't like that and I would disagree with them. But they indeed have the right as American citizens to confront members of Congress. And especially if members of Congress are using their power for wicked things that hurt the American people, I think that we actually have an obligation to confront them and disrupt their meals, disrupt their everyday lives, even if they're off the clock. Because if you have a position of power and you're using it to harm people, then I think that you just being out in public with your family or being off the clock isn't an excuse to avoid criticism or confrontation by somebody that your policies are harming. Now, what's interesting is that she also did the same thing to AOC before she was a member of Congress. So back in 2019, she, like the lunatic that she is, live streamed herself harassing AOC's office, being a creep outside of it with some dudes. She also went to Ilhan Omar's office and Rashida Tlaib's office. And what she did here, I think you could describe as insane and out of control. Let's watch. This is like so elementary. <laughs> this looks like a progressive feminist, um, maybe Planned Parenthood, or Narol came and visited AOC right and exercise. all wrote for notes. No, gonna We're gonna ask her if Common Core math helped get her through college. And Here, <laughs> Trump. At, 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 uh, socialism sucks. No, no, no. Oh, add this no. to it. <laughs> Trump. Trump, baby. That's good. Trump is your president. I like that. The smiley face. Smile. Trump oh, is your president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Message to them right there. A traitor. What? They locked the door. Wait, what? Excuse me. I'm an American citizen. I pay taxes. I'd like to speak to. They locked the door. Speak to someone in Congress. Hello. They f too. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, Acacia. Uh, staff members for Acacia, we'd like to. Uh, this is, we are your employers. We are here to. Uh, There's lights on in there. Inspect the, the office. Oh, okay. Could we? Could we please come in? I thought, I thought locks were immoral. I, th I, mean, I thought locks were for bigots. Yeah. Wait. Walls were immoral. This is immoral. This is immoral. This is. I'm so offended. Uh, I'm. No? I'm offended. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I'm an American citizen. I pay your salary through the immoral. taxes that you collect from me through the IRS because I'm a tax-paying citizen of the United States. I'm a woman, I'm a female business owner, and I'm proud to be an American woman. And I do not support your socialist policies, and I do not support your murderous abortion policies. As a mother of three children, I'm appalled at New York's law for abortion, and it needs to end and it needs to stop now. You're bringing God's judgment on our country, and I'm against it, as well as my friends. So you need to stop being a baby and stop locking your door and come out and face the American citizens that you serve. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap, a little flap. It's kind of like her. She's kind Sad. of flappy. She's like, she keeps flapping her gums. This oh, is like, this flappy, is, flappy. Yeah. Okay, well, oh, each this, one of this, is is this is like child games. This is. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ocasio Cortez. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, little baby girl. We're going to fix her sticky notes because you know what? They have it wrong. You know, the kids in daycare at AOC's office, they have it wrong. So they put the sticky notes on the welcome sign. So we got to make sure it's right. No, we're not going to mess them up. Those are her notes. Those are her feel good, be special notes. So we're going to make sure that it shows the welcome sign because everyone's welcome in America. Uh oh, that was a mistake. Let's fix it. We gotta fix. Let's, let's fix this. Nope, not destroying them at all. Uh -oh. Illegals are welcome, and babies are murdered. Um, but here at her office, that was covered up. She's a big girl. She needs to keep keep things clean and know that people are welcome. I need to see Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib. Hey, look, as a woman, I do not want to have to wear a burqa one day. I need to go talk to these women. Yes, Rashida to Tlaib and, and Ilhan Omar. It's ironic to me that the Christian nationalist of all people is worried about others imposing their religious views on her. I mean, the whole crux of Christian nationalism is that we are 
a nation where government is subordinate to God, i.e., since I am a representative of God, I get to impose my will on you because I have divine authority. She's the one who's worried about Ilhan Omar imposing her religious views on other people. I mean, this woman is insane and completely out of control. And I love how she demanded a meeting with AOC because she's a taxpayer. But when this mother and son come up to confront her in a restaurant, well, apparently uh, all that goes out the window. She doesn't like it when it happens to her. But you are a member of Congress. So how dare you do all of this and then turn around and say, actually, I don't think that members of Congress should be subjected to the scrutiny and confrontation that I once subjected them to. Get the fuck out of here, Marjorie Taylor Greene. You just don't like getting a taste of your own medicine. But it's going to happen, and I hope it keeps happening to you. Because somebody as disgustingly egregious and bigoted and nationalistic and fascistic as you, I don't think that you deserve peace so long as you're using your position of power to harm other people. So I hope that every time you go to a restaurant, people who see you confront you. You're a member of Congress. I'm not saying that they should hurt you. Obviously, I don't condone violence, but I am saying that they have the right to approach you and say, I don't approve of the ways in which you are governing. I don't approve of the way that you're using your power to hurt people. I think that is well within their rights, and I think that people should do that. So, you know, she just, she doesn't want to get a taste of her own medicine. That's really what it comes down to. But either way, it's going to happen because you're a member of Congress, and we're in really volatile times now where we're hyperpolarized thanks to individuals like you who refuse to let people live as they want to live. You want to impose your fascistic views on everyone else. And so long as you try to use your power for authoritarian means and restrict the rights, civil liberties, civil rights of other Americans, they're going to want to confront you because that's something that I think that most Americans don't want to put up with. So sorry, if you don't like it, tough shit. You could resign from Congress. There's one solution. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralists. The dream I saw my maternal grandmother, she was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.